So this is going to be a reading for my Virgos for September 14th through the 16th. Thank you so much for joining me. Keep in mind, this is general, so only take what applies and leave the rest. You don't want to take anything from a general reading too, too serious, especially if it doesn't resonate with your situation. And I always recommend getting a personal, whether it's with me or a trusted reader of yours. Um, if you want one with me, that information will be below in the description. Also, make sure you subscribe and let's go ahead and get straight into it. So the first card is going to represent the message from your spirit guides and I have the fertility card. Okay, so a lot of messages coming through with this card. So for my people who are parents. The relationship you have with the person you may have children with is really affecting the way that your child is um, receiving love, basically. So for some of you, it could be a situation where you and the person you may have children with, you guys don't have the best relationship. And because of that, that person may not see their child as often or just the dynamic in which things happen in the family is just off or the energy is off between you two and your child can feel it. So that's one thing to kind of look at. Um, another thing that I'm seeing for some of you, you just don't have the best relationship with like a parental figure. And I think that it's really eating your parent up or whether this is your mother or your father, it's like really eating them up in terms of them not being able to talk to you, know what's going on, especially if you're not really in communication with them often because of the fact that you don't have the best relationship with them. For some of you who are trying to get pregnant, um, there's some things that you guys have to tie up first, like some loose ends you need to tie up first before that energy comes in in terms of like pregnancy and whatnot. So there isn't delays per se. It's just spirit is trying to make sure you handle some things within self before you conceive. If you've been trying, trying, trying and wondering what's going on. Overall, a lot of you are just outgrowing people around you and that's okay. Now, the theme for this time frame, I have the two of inspiration. So this has a lot to do with some big decisions that have to be made. And these decisions are big in the sense where it changes the course in which your life looks like. So this could be career changes, environment changes, like moving to a different country or state or city. Um, decisions surrounding getting married or getting divorced. That's more so the realm of decisions that I'm talking about. So the theme has a lot to do with you guys having to make a personal decision that will change the course of your life for the better. And you having to come to a conclusion of which way you want to move. Now, when it comes to what I see for love specifically, I have the night of emotions. In reverse. So... You're dealing with somebody during this time frame who is like a very emotionally disconnected from you in terms of not showing any type of emotion or if you guys like briefly went on a break from dealing with someone. This person like they they're not showing any signs of trying to come back around or rekindle things. If anything, they act like they're emotionally uninterested and some of you, it's more so vice versa. You're the one who's more so uninterested in someone trying to take advantages towards you, whether this is new love or an ex. Some of you just want to kind of be by yourself as of right now. Yeah, clarifying that I have the death card in reverse. So you're really tired of the fact that the environment of a connection has not changed at all. This could be a Scorpio regards to the zodiac sign it's like you don't want to emotionally invest any more time and energy into something until things change and you're realizing that that's going to be difficult especially with 
them constantly keeping secrets or giving you mixed signals of not really knowing what they want. It's just a lot. And then with career and finances, I have the five of swords. So this is self-sabotage. And whenever I say self-sabotage, this is like not taking care of your business, knowing that you want to do this, this, and this, and then you're not being consistent in those efforts or you're talking yourself out of it in a sense. Some of you could have like some really nasty coworkers who try to like up do you or up do you try to like basically be in like a low key competition with you. I wouldn't give that any energy or trying to start issues with you verbally as well. So I would avoid even having conversations with them as a whole. But yeah, some of you want a new job or you want to step up an employment, like get a promotion or something like that. Mm, but it's the getting into your head for me. <laughs> now, when it comes to the conflict that may come up in the future or not in the future during this time frame or challenge, we have the Ten of Materials, which is the Ten of Pentacles. And this could be family. Like I said, this could be the person you have children with, um, a parent of yours, family members, a marriage that you're in. Yeah, someone could be acting really petty. For some of you, also like your living environment, who you may live with, or you wanting to purchase um, like a home or like move and having difficulties there. Now, the next set of actions you need to take during this time frame, um, there needs to be a focus on, like I said, getting your family situation in order, but also making sure that you don't miss your opportunity when it comes to having a more like successful future in terms of, again, making sure you're, how do I put this into words? Okay, so this is you need to make sure you're taking action on things that you know will better your future as a whole. So instead of like worrying about a relationship that's not going anywhere, this is moving forward. Or someone who's emotionally not interested, like an ex or something, right? Um, this is also... Like finding, how do I put this into words? I'm um, just taking care of your emotional health as well. Because some of you, like your emotional health is all over the place. And that's why you're unable to really get things in order. But I hope I put, the, I hope I put that into like the best of words that I could. I don't know. I'm getting tongue tied right now. I'm going to leave the reading here because I've been obviously doing way too many readings. Um, if you enjoyed this reading, if you took something from it, feel free to thumbs this video up and subscribe. Check out the description if you want a personal and I'll see you in the next one.